Good morning ladies and gents and thank you for watching ASFN Fishing. We're still properly in lockdown. I think it's day 12 um, today when I'm filming uh, this particular clip. And today's topic is just a standard chat trace. Guys, we're on the verge of the shad season starting. Once lockdown's finished, we're very close to the shad coming through. And probably one of the most targeted species from the shore in South Africa is shad or also known as tailor in, uh, in Australia and bluefish in America. The word tailor obviously comes from the fact that a shad always takes the bait from the back, from the tail, which uh, I just want to remind you, I've seen a lot of guys fishing a sardine upside down with the head down. Now, obviously for shad, you want the tail to the back of your trace because it hits the tail first and that's where you want to bury the hook. So we're just going to do a straightforward standard trace Guys, um, the ring soy uh, hooks, uh, if you like using them, this is what I prefer, as well as the chino hooks, which you get in, in bulk packets, which is more cost effective at the end of the day. Um, size three to five, depending on what you prefer. I sometimes really like the smaller hooks because I want the back hook, this will sit in the back at the tail and I want it to almost disappear. Um, you can bury your hook, you stick it into that sardine and bury it with a, with, a, with a shad because it takes that whole tail, everything, it cuts off and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before where your bait comes back and the tail is gone with that perfect little shape of a shad's mouth that took it. So that's where you want your hook on that first bite you want to catch it. Alright, so let's get going. Number seven, uh, Pihana wire, the American fishing wire. Then I just took a, a normal teardrop sinker. Uh, for demonstration purpose, a size 5 swivel, that it depends on you. Uh, you can go as far, uh, size 6, a size 7, if you want to go smaller. Then, believe it or not, I don't have a single cork bung in my, uh, in my tuck room. I don't use the bungs, really. Um, if I use now, I use these, uh, these ones we buy now from various tackle stores in South Africa. Is this nice little pre-shaped and coloured little foam bunk so I'm going to do it with that and I've also got the foam ones which I know you can get the the red and the white one which is also available in the shops now you can either use the whole one or half that's up to you to use the whole one but more wind resistance and uh, obviously most of the shad spots or a lot of the shad spots in the is off the rocks so you don't need to cast as far most of the time but should you want to cast this a bit further I would only use half or the more streamlined options which is available on the market is these little foam ones also from the Kingfisher. Okay guys and then I use 0.55 line for these type of traces. Uh, the Maxima Ultra Green which is more than sufficient. But let's just first start the steel trace. Okay. And for those of you that's watched our Kuda traces I use this little pin, which uh, you can use a nail. This this is a little, just a little tool, and that makes my perfect little circle. All right, for the hook or the swivel, and I'll use my on those pliers if I want to make that a bit smaller, and still keep the 45 degrees to tie the. To actually do the haywire twist. All right, in this case, let's use one of these uh, chino hooks. You're going to stick that in there into that little loop. All right, and once it's in the loop, you're just going to take the long nose pliers to hold the loop. Now what I'm going to do, because this will now, because of the twist, twist up everything. So I'm going to cut enough to make the trace and then start the 45. Wrong way. Okay. Now with the pliers, you'll straighten out your long end until it turns straight like I'm showing there. And then just wrap close wraps to finish it off with your tag end. 
Okay. And to practice that knot, guys, on the back of the American Fishing Wire Packet, it shows you exactly how to do a hair wire twist and how to turn off. All you do with the tag is a great, nice and tight to where it ends, it finishes. That's where you want to hold it. You want to bend it once and just turn it off. So it turns it off nice and neat, no tag there. Perfect little finish for the haywire twist. Okay, now, all right, I'll determine my length, normally how I fish it. Uh, if this was a sardine, all right, and that's the tail, I'll measure the hook in that part of the tail, as I'm showing there. Okay, and that's the head, so that's where my foam will sit in front of the head. Okay, so that's the length, and I can go, I can give you guys an estimate length of where to put the swivel, will be there where my fingers are. Now, that's 22 centimeters where I'll tie my swivel. And again, I'm just gonna start my little loop for the swivel. Okay, I'm gonna close it up a little bit. Take the swivel. And I've said this many times in many of our videos, these power swivels, much stronger for the size, which allows you to fish much smaller swivels. Okay, um, making your trace a bit more finesse. When it comes to fishing guys, we try and, and better everything we do because fish get more clever every time. Okay, and you're going to put your swivel on. I'm going to grab it with my long nose and I'm going to do my 45 degree wrap. Then straighten out the long end and your tag at 90 degrees. Just do a nice and close wrap. Finish it off. Now, now is the time in lockdown. This is the time to actually make a whole bunch of them. There we go. Shad tray is done, guys. And you pull your float onto the swivel as hard as you can. So it goes in with that first eye and there you have it. A nice, just plain straightforward shad bunk trace. And now what I'll do is I'll measure about 40 centimeters, use a figure of eight knot. Wet it, right, pull your float off, <laughs> tighten it, cut the tag, then take 40 centimeters, in this case I'm going to take 56 to tie my knot onto a swivel, I'm going to tie that to the 5-6 combi swivels, the combi power swivels, lovely little swivels this, instead of a three-way, but you can use a standard three-way guys. Nothing wrong with that. I just don't own any. And with these combi power swivels, you see the big one goes to your main line, your leader. That goes to your trace, and the swiveling little swivel goes to your sinker. So, a figure of eight onto that. Then tie your sinker line to the smaller swivel. Then measure it. I like my sinker to be a little bit longer. Some people prefer fishing a shorter like that when they're fishing for shad. I like keeping my traces the same. So I've got the measurement. I double it up just like that. And you need not. 
which forms a figure of eight. See the figure of eight? You wait it. Cut the tag. And just slip your sinker on there. This allows you to quickly change the weight of your sinker should your sinker wash too much. All right, guys, now very simple, straightforward. That is your shad trace with a bung. Just pull the bung where it should be. And uh, yeah, you've got the time to get ready for the shad season. There we go. Now, oh, oh just worth mentioning, guys. If you go like fishing half sardines or fillets, you're going to make this much shorter. This one specifically is for a whole sardine, like I explained to you guys. And uh, you can make it much shorter. You see a lot of the ones you buy in the shops as well is, is quite a bit shorter and allows for fillets or half sardines. That's up to you. But thank you very much for watching. And thanks for the guys that subscribed already. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And push that little bell button to notify you each time we upload new videos. And please like the video. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithms to actually grow our channel. Thank you guys for the support and all the best for this lockdown period. Thank you.